On this episode, we feature the 60 Symposium, a new local TV show, and the Bean Boozle Challenge. This is Mysticast. Hello and welcome to another amazing episode of Mysticast. I'm your host, Scott Mann. BSC's Drama Club is hosting an annual haunted house known as the Haunted Theater. Drama Club member and one of the directors of the Haunted Theater, Tanner Hostetter, is here to tell us more. Ready to be scared? Because it's scary how much planning the Drama Club has been putting into their setup for this year's Haunted Theater. And what you can expect is hopefully to get the Everlyn Daylights scared out of you. So. The Haunted Theater shares a lot of basic things to the Haunted Fort, but with many different ideas, and it is a fundraiser for the Drama Club. The Haunted Theater is a fundraiser that the Drama Club puts on every year that funds ACTF. The building of the Haunted Theater begins right after Dog Sees God is finished, and according to the team, the Haunted Theater is guaranteed to scare your socks off. We've got meals here today. I've come to the Haunted Theater because it's a good fundraiser for our theater department and it's uh, giving our students the chance to uh, uh, show off their skills in ways that uh, you wouldn't normally think. I mean, you wouldn't always think that an actor would, uh, would be good for like haunted attractions or something like that. But absolutely, these skills relate across a, vi a variety of different uh, fields and this is just one of our ways to show them off. The Haunted Theater starts from 6 to about 11 o'clock, uh, October 31st, 30th through the 31st. Remember, I'm already dead! From BSC Mysticast, I'm Tanner Hostetter. But do we lose someone? Oh, it doesn't matter. We should take good care of her. I don't know if we should be afraid or excited. Welcome to the 60s! Oh, 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 oh! That's right, Bismarck State College will be going back in time to the 60s by hosting a 60s themed symposium, Turmoil and Transformation. Starting November 3rd through 5th, Alexis Larson sat down with Allison Czar and Susan McClendon for more information. Allison Czar and Susan McClendon play an important role for getting the symposium ready. I'm Allison's right hand, kind of. Um, I take care of all the speakers. I'm the one that's been speaking to them about making their travel arrangements making sure I have their contracts signed so that we can get them here. We do a lot with the logistics um, as far as any of the catering that needs to be taken care of, working with getting a public performance license for the movies, um, proofing any of the registration materials. I worked extensively with the new Christine Minstrels who are going to be at the Bell as part of the symposium. With the deadline of the symposium arriving soon, everyone is ready to see their hard work come to life. Show what else we can do and reach another audience that we might not normally reach through academics. We have some people that have spent their lives researching these different events and really are the experts to, to come and talk to us on these things. and. You know, history always repeats itself one way or another, and so this is a great learning experience for everyone. You know, everybody's going to be dressing up in the 60s, and we'll have food from the 60s, and it'll just be a lot of fun and yet really great opportunity to learn more about the history. To see some of the people that are going to be here who are considered experts on their topic, um, there's a chance that you can talk to some of these people and hear their first-hand accounts of why they think that this was a great decade to spend their life researching something that pertains to it. So even if you can only come to an hour presentation, definitely take the time to come and do it because it's fun. You'll get to hear speakers that you'll never get to hear probably anywhere else. 60s movies have been playing here at the Union to get everyone in the mood for the symposium. Remember, the symposium is open to the public, and you can register online at bismarckstate.edu. Eric Mathias got an exclusive interview with Al Jagger to see what his involvement is in the symposium. I've been asked to share my experience or my perspective as a member of the North Dakota National Guard uh, when we uh, were called to uh, quell uh, with what some people call riots that took place in Zap in the spring of 1969. And, and all of a sudden somebody, you know, hears, oh, you know, you were in the National Guard at that time, and, 
And I kind of jokingly, you know, tell people that my experience in the National Guard, my major, major thing was that I, I helped uh, uh, free the town of Zab from the tyranny of students. You know, you know, and I, I say that in jest, and that was overheard. And the next thing I know, that information was passed on to the organizers of the event, and so the next thing I know, I'm being contacted and asked to share my my perspective as a soldier in the National Guard at that time that uh, helped uh, uh, move uh, students from Zap to Beulah to Hazen and points beyond. We will be right back. Enjoy this amazing public service announcement produced by yours truly. Stay tuned. Welcome back. There's a new local show in Bismarck, Mandan, which consists of city government topics. This show is run by Dakota Media Access on cable channels 2 for standard definition and 602 for high definition. Jacob Gathman has more information. City Current is a condensed down version of local government meetings. It provides the general public with all the necessary information about the happenings of the city. Josh Maney from Dakota Media Access is the production specialist for this show. It's our job as the government access television channel to cover local government activity and to do it in a more accessible way. Three episodes of City Current have already been released. The first one was on the Mandan Municipal Landfill. The second was on the Bismarck Police Department's and the third one was on the Mandan Police Department's Youth Services Division. The episodes are released approximately every two weeks with a wide variety of topics. Mary Van Sickle plays an editorial role. She helps determine the topics. She communicates with the city's staff to come up with topics. Mary Van Sickle is the executive director for Dakota Media Access who created City Current. Our purpose in developing the program was to try and condense down some of the vital information. Any topic can be covered in a City Current episode. It really can be anything. I mean, we could talk about wastewater treatment, garbage collections, there's also, it's really endless. With City Current being relatively new, there's no telling what could happen. We're just looking forward to City Current uh, moving forward for many years. For more information, you can call Dakota Media Access at 258-8767 or go online to freetv.org. We are in full swing at the fall semester here at BSC and students are getting a good feel of college life. So this week, I asked some students how Bismarck State is treating them so far. Hello everyone and welcome to our first segment of Man on the Street with Scott Mann. Today we're at the Student Union and we're going to ask some students what they think about BSC. Let's go. Alright, what do you think of BSC? Uh, it's pretty cool here. I don't know, the food's crazy expensive. Probably got to take out another student loan to buy a Mountain Dew here. It's very fun. It's a very fun atmosphere and a lot of great people to be around. It's all right. It's not bad. It's a college. Mysterious. All right. How's your school year going so far? It's going good. I mean, 8 a.m. classes five days a week is kind of killing it, but other than that, it's pretty good. Okay, for now. Pretty good. It's so far so good. Um, I'm under scholarship, so I have to keep my grades up. Um, but other than that, it's been going very good so far. All right, what are you majoring in? I'm just doing generals for now, but I'm thinking something in the math field. Uh, I'm going for welding, so I'm starting that next semester. So I'm just doing my generals right now. Education. Uh, engineering. Nursing, hopefully. Right now I'm a liberal arts transfer, um, and I'm hoping to transfer to the University of Montana. All right, and if any changes, what would you make to BSC? Honestly, I don't think any 
because I kind of like how it's so small and everything's kind of in like one area. Well, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head, so probably nothing right now. Ice cream every day. None really. I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. Cheaper food, probably. That's about it. Other than that, it's a pretty cool place. Well, there you have it, folks. Make sure to tune in next time for another episode of Man on the Street with Scott Mann. Stay tuned, folks. We have the Bean Boozled Challenge coming up right after this short public service announcement created by Annika Rovig. Wait, 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 I'm scared. Why? Why? It wasn't even that scary. <laughs> Whatever, if someone was in my closet like that, I'd freak out. Will you please come in and just make sure I'm okay? Nothing is gonna happen, I promise. You don't know that? <laughs> Welcome back. Last episode, we promised that we would participate in the Bean Boozled Challenge. Here are our reactions. It's time for the Bean Boozled Challenge. Each bean has some weird and wild flavors. I'm your host, Scott Mann. With me, I have Eric Mathias and Tanner Hostetter. We're going to be starting off with Eric. Thanks, Scott. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get a bean. All right, I believe this one is to be moldy cheese or caramel corn. I'm guessing that was moldy cheese. That, that's moldy cheese. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Oh. God damn it. Okay. Oh, God, mm. Hang on. Oh, God. Okay, uh. got it down. Got it down. All right, now we're going to be having Tanner oh, have God. some beans. Gosh. Oh. Oh, and God. Pierce, you got booger. <laughs> booger. Oh, oh, that's horrible. <laughs> oh, the toothpaste tasted better. All right, now it's Scotty's turn. Get it. Here you go, Scotty. Fast. All right, now I will be uh, participating as well. Good luck to you, my friend. Here's uh, skunk spray or licorice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That was skunk spray. Really? That looks like licorice. <laughs> all right, now I say we all three take one. Yeah, I, I agree. All right, I'll start right. off with my take. Um, that's a good one. I'm not. I'm gonna do a bad one. I'm gonna do the skunk spray one with you. Deal? Deal. I'll do it. You give him two d fruity or I know he'll pull. Oh. Okay. You go have the same one. Ah oh, sh. For my final bean, I got licorice or skunk spray. I got booger or juicy pear. I got Tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks. Click it. Chow down. Chow. I got Licorice. I got Juicy I, Pear. I got Stinky Socks. Holy crap! <laughs> oh, that tastes horrible! You want to spit it out? Oh. <laughs> ah, that was good. That oh. was, that's a decent flavor. I don't like oh. Licorice, but... Oh, oh God! You all right there, buddy? <laughs> oh. We got Bean Boozled. Stay tuned for our next challenge. I can still taste the skunk spray. And so ends another episode of Mysticast. Next episode is dedicated to the Bismarck State College's 60s Symposium, Turmoil and Transformation. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you back in the 60s.